first, thank you uh, very much for having us. Uh, we're very, very excited to be here. We're, we're a, a, a very new company, and we're actually still in a closed beta. Um, you can go afterwards, not now, uh, and request an invite, and we'll be um, happy to kind of help you out get that invite. But let me uh, introduce so first. Uh, my name is Sagi, and this is Angie. We're with Alicanto. And if I had to say, uh, to tell you in one sentence what we're about, um, this, we help small businesses grow and reach new and existing customers uh, by recommending and managing all of their marketing activities. So if you think about the local businesses, they have a very, very hard time to keep up um, fighting against the big corporations with the deep pockets and all their marketing activities, all the personnel that they can bring on. Uh, so our goal is to help those little guys. So this is our website, and let's uh, start by logging in. Uh, and we requested permission from one of our beta customers, as that we're in closed beta, to use their <coughs> real account. So what you're going to see is you can just use the, uh, this one here. Just log in. Um, and this, so this is a real live account. Um, what you see, and let me start by walking you um, kind of through the, the dashboard, and I'll make this a little bit bigger. Okay. Um, what you see on the upper right-hand side is the current customer list. You see how many total customers that um, that business has, and how many recently added. Now, this is a very new customer, so it's the, the number is the same right now. So all their customers were added very recently. Uh, you can <coughs> basic functionality of <coughs> adding customers and edi editing the list. Um, just what stands behind this functionality? We found that those small businesses, uh, small business owners. They don't have the knowledge or the time to really do that by them, their own. They don't have the money to buy a dedicated CRM system. Uh, they can't afford Salesforce. So this is the basic functionality that they need to maintain their customer list. Below that, you can see the marketing activities, basically running different types of campaigns. Uh, and we will see example for one of those uh, in a minute. And on the left, uh, this is something that's very, very interesting is the, and I'm sorry if I'm blocking the view, uh, this is the marketing recommendations feed. And what you see here is actually tailored to the specific business that is using the system. So we have a, uh, an engine, a recommendation engine that learns the business. They um, learn everything from the geographic location to the industry of the business. And based on different um, data mining activities that we do, we can surface the best marketing, best, let's say, next marketing activity that that business should, should do. Um, so ex for example, when you log in, you have our welcome message and you see a, a short video of um, what the, the system is, is about or how to kind of use the system. You can actually go on our YouTube channel uh, and, and see those. Um, they're very, very nice. So, um, and I won't go through each one, but you can see that you get different recommendations um, based on your business type, industry, location. So for example, if there's next week, there's going to be a street fair uh, in the street that my business is located on, I will get a notification maybe to print out signs and put them on my storefront because there's going to be a lot of food traffic over there. So this is just one example of how tailored this recommendation engine is. And uh, by the way, it's uh, patent pending, so don't get anything uh, <laughs> in your head. Um, okay, so let's let's see uh, an example for one of our campaigns. Let's do a sale campaign, for example. Um, a minute. Okay, thank you. So I'll, I'll make it quick. The first thing that you do, you, the, the user sees, is the upcoming special days. Basically, this is a list of excuses to run campaigns. Um, Let's say I'm a, in, in this example, uh, the, the user is a in the spa or salon business. So let's say we want to run something for National Relaxation Day. These are all real days, by, uh, real special days, uh, by the way. So a relaxation day will automatically automatically give the, the, the days for from or through uh, and through, and obviously the user can change that. And next, you have the segmentation. The user, uh, right now, those are three default segments, and next release will have um, custom segmentations that the user can create. 
Finally, they can choose it to send either an email, text message, or postcard. And that's really quick. Go to the next. We create the templates for the user, including the copy. So you can see multiple types of templates. And I'm sorry again for the screen resolution that you can't see the entire thing. And you can edit. Um, basically, it's what you see is what you get. You can edit the, the default text on the copy itself. Um, OK, let's move on. And then uh, you can submit the campaign, obviously test it, preview. This is basically what the user will get. We put the uh, customer's logo at the top, so it's branded with the customer, uh, powered by Alcanto, and so on and so on. Uh, one more thing that I want to add before we go into questions is we have an alliance feature. We won't go into that uh, right now because I don't have the time. But basically what it allows, it allows uh, small businesses to group together and cross promote, basically sending these types of campaigns to all the customer customers of the group. That's allowing the business to reach new customers uh, that <laughs> they couldn't reach before. Nice. So thank right. you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Great. Questions? So what kind of businesses are you targeting? <clears throat> all of them. Small <laughs> small businesses. <laughs> but across industries. So right now, we're in a closed beta, as I mentioned. Um, we're working with a wide variety of businesses, salons, spas, restaurants, coffee shops, real estate agents, you name it. Uh, and the reason for that is because we wanted to learn as much as we could about each individual industry. So each industry sees different types of templates or different uh, designs based on the industry definition. So if I'm a, uh, a lawyer, I wouldn't see the relax template because it's, it doesn't match my, my industry. Okay. Does, it, does it answer your question? <laughs> right. um, are those recommendations automated? The recommendations are automated? So the question is, are the recommendations automated? Yes, yeah. they are automated. And there how do you automate it? Because you know, how do I know, hey, you know, Google Plus, why do I need Google Plus, why do lo local or Facebook, Twitter? How do I know that? Know that? How do you know? How do we know? Do, or yeah, how do, do, do the small do you know How can I recommend Google Plus local? How can I recommend Facebook? You know. So okay. we basically put the logic into the the recommendation engine mm -hmm. for which types of businesses might need Google Plus, Google local. Which types of businesses are more likely to run Facebook campaigns? Based on that, we can surface the recommendations to the correct businesses. Yeah, because that's for me super super difficult. Huh? That, yeah. That. How do I know if, you know? if it were easy, that's the barrier to entry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yes. What's about the abyss of the wall? Do you charge for the clients? Yes. So the business model is a freemium model. We have basic services that are free. Uh, right now, in our beta program, we uh, allow all the emails to be free and pay as you go for postcards, texts, and gifts. Um, Moving forward, we will have a subscription plan or packages uh, ranging from free, which will always have some type of a free package, all the way to premium, where you uh, buy a package of email, postcard, text. You can, you know, it'll be like, some will be, is is it is you can, like, uh, just send as many postcards as you wish, or and some will be uh, capped. Sorry, yes, go ahead. How do you acquire your customers? How do we acquire customers? So right now we go we go um, door to door, and uh, this is for the closed beta. We hand pick our customers, as I mentioned. We wanted, uh, bless you. We wanted as uh, a wide array of, of industry. Going forward, we're going to rely on automatic automatic tools, starting with online advertising through SEO. We're going to be very very heavily based on our videos. We have an in-house video team that produces our videos are very, very high-end, um, and we, we're using automated, mar automate, automated marketing uh, campaign software to um, reach out to, to potential customers. Yes, so you're internally handling everything from CRM to constant contact to email marketing and Groupon type stuff? You do everything internal? That's right. But we do it at a more simple level. So our goal is that from sign in to running a campaign, you'll be able to do that in under five minutes. 
So it's, it's very, very simple for the user. You don't need to have a graphic design background to be successful in running beautiful marketing campaigns. Right, but you also offer things like Google Plus and external. Yes, these are, these are recommendations. So we don't, we don't make money off of those. We just help the small business be as successful as possible through that. So it, 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 enlarging their exposure and doing all the right things to market themselves uh, better. We have time for one more. One more? Yeah. You're the highest, yes. Thank you. <laughs> um, you showed us an account where you didn't generate a new customer. Do you have an account where the, customer, the local business was successful in generating new leads? Yes, absolutely. Uh, and and if why you go, didn't you show it? <laughs> no, these these are just. This is a new customer. They just started uploading their uh, customer list. Then um, did you uh, show us as it works? Oh, it works. You can go on our <laughs> YouTube channel. Go on our YouTube channel. Um, right now, there are a couple of testimonial videos uh, of real customers. For example, we have one restaurant in Los Altos that works with us. It's called Malfi's. If you're familiar, uh, that restaurant owner has seen 15% increase in revenue since he started using us. Uh, so it works. Thanks very much. Thank, Thank you guys. You very much.